We welcome you to the Ogono Art family. It's time for evolution. And so in today's video, we're going to be speaking about a uh, Twitter account known as Manga Materials. And so what, what happened in uh, Manga Materials, what happened to this uh, Twitter account is that uh, this is a Twitter account where the person would often upload, you know, uh, anatomical guidelines for, you know, the correct way of how to, you know, draw certain things. And so what, what took place is that eventually they were being, uh, this person was being harassed uh, out of Twitter or Tumblr or so, but they were being harassed and they were saying, the, the people doing the harassment were saying, oh, you can't tell me how to draw. And so he was getting a lot of, uh, a lot of flack from it and then eventually he uh, he uh, uh, deleted his uh, Twitter account and so judging by the resources uh, that I'm seeing and, and coming from a person that actively studies anatomy uh, this was a very useful tool for us to you know learn from and, and at the same time he was uh, giving this out for free and so one main thing I really would like to point out in the art community is that there's a difference between uh, style and knowing the technicalities of how to do things. And we need to understand the technicalities of how to do things in order to improve further. And the technicalities we learn from realism. And then once we know the, the knowledge of realism or the technicalities, we then gain our skill to start to abstract and or, and create our own style. Therefore, finding a style should come a lot later. And to put simply regarding style, and so when it comes to you know writing the alphabet, let's say you're writing the, the letter A, you know we want to understand the structure of the letter A. However, when style comes into play is that we all have a different handwriting on how we write the letter A. However, we know the fundamentals of how that letter A is, you know? We understand the structure of the letter A. And now when we transfer this to drawing, it, it's a lot more complex. However, the, the same rules apply as to writing, as to the rules of writing a letter A. Now this is when becoming stylish when writing a letter A comes in. Right. So, you know, the fundamentals of how to properly structure the letter A. And so maybe you can have a, a very tall letter A, because now that you know the fundamentals, you can have a very tall letter A. You can maybe, you know, split some things apart, cut the letter A in half, you know, certain things that that are seen in uh, in graphic design. You know, in graphic design, we have a lot of creative uh, ways of how we make a letter A. There are different type fonts of how we make letter A. This is when the art style comes in. We can abstract these things once we know the fundamentals of how to make the letter A. So same rules apply to drawing. And so some of the fact that the uh, the manga materials uh, Twitter account was getting was that he was uh, he was drawing with his arm as opposed to his wrist or something like that. However, it's it's much more beneficial to draw with your arm because you know it, if you're drawing with your wrist, you, you you can't control the line weight as much. You know, so it, it was these little subtle things that he was getting uh, criticism for. And so, due to the harassment, this uh, the Japanese artist on Twitter was getting uh, the manga material Twitter account. Uh, he's no longer uploading his tutorials on Twitter. So now you can find his tutorials on a different website, which I will have a link in the description down below. And I feel that's a lot more beneficial because the people who are going to buy it are the ones who are going to appreciate it more. And I feel that this uh, Japanese artist on Twitter deserves a lot more uh, positive credit than he was given. Also, if you're one of those artists who are in resistance to learning this, these, these kinds of material, like anatomical guidelines and various other, you know, drawing tutorials, then you will never improve because then an artist should always be open-minded to various avenues of how things are done. If you're closed-minded and you're in resistance to something, you're fighting it, you're saying, you can't tell me how to draw, etc. You're not going to improve. Especially if it's coming from a experienced artist. 
Thanks for watching the video. Feel free to go down below and hit the red subscribe button and as well hit the bell button next, next to it to get notified for when you, uh, I upload new videos. And down below in, in the description I have a discord chat and within this discord chat I provide drawing references that I found all around the internet in my own personal notes and you can also share artwork with other members of the Ogana art family. And so, peace.